Well, today I figured I'd share with you some experience here on uh, pinion oil seals for uh, Jeep CJ2A front and rear axles, Dana axles. So uh, both my pinion oil seals front and rear were leaking and I decided to replace them. So I went on to Kaiser Willys, uh, purchase seals. Um, they look like this. Well, actually, they don't look like this, obviously, when you get them. Um, I had to remove this, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But the new seals, they supposedly work in the front and the rear axle, so, um, and they're pretty lightweight, actually. Um, they have this red around them, and uh, these seals, I forget what they cost, maybe $10, something like that. Um, I don't know if they're made by Omics. I don't, I don't know who makes these seals, but anyway, these seals are supposed to work front and rear axle pinion, pinion seal, right? So I tapped them in the best I could. Um, I, I went through a bunch of these, actually. I, I thought I had them in backwards at one point. I um, uh, pulled them out, reinstalled them, etc. Anyway, I got them in there and uh, got the pinion put back on. So they just didn't feel like they fit right to me. The pinion uh, was feeling like it was dragging a little bit. I had torqued everything down, you know, did, did everything I was supposed to do. And um, so I, I pulled the pinion off and I noticed that uh, the pinion was rubbing against some of the rubber that's sticking out on these seals. And, you know, I went in and out with the pinion, things like that. Anyway, long story short, I said to myself, I don't know, these, these didn't look anything like the seals that actually came off the Jeep. So I started looking online, went on uh, eBay, and actually found a, uh, a company selling seals that look like this. Um, very different looking than this. And these, these seals here are about two to almost three times the weight of these seals from, from Onyx. So this new seal I got off of eBay, this uh, looks very similar, almost exactly identical to what I pulled out. So right, right then and there, and the lips are, uh, the rubber lip here was a little shallower than what this ended up being. And so anyway, long story short, um, I said, okay, uh, let me order these seals. So they were around the same price. I ordered four of them actually, in case I, I made a mistake, just have some parts locally. Um, and I popped, popped this out. As you can see, I had to kind of rip it out, put these in place and uh, everything's smooth now. Pinion is, is riding perfectly, um, no issues. So I don't know, maybe I installed these wrong, maybe there's something I missed. So I, I don't wanna talk poorly about these seals, but I, I just don't, I don't know, maybe maybe someone can comment below, maybe, maybe, I, did some, maybe I did something wrong here, but uh, these did not work for me. And I went with these off of eBay and they worked great. One of the little tips, so my engine's been rebuilt and I just got it back. And so I asked for the old parts, got this uh, cylinder, and this cylinder actually fits perfectly, like perfectly on top of the new seal. So when you want to tap this in place, uh, this makes for a great way. And plus you have some space here for the, the pinion, uh, the threading on the pinion to, to go into. So you could tap this in on the axle nice and, um, nice and evenly. And uh, so this works, it worked out really well. If you have access to something like this, this is a great way to install these seals because I actually, I don't have any fancy tools. So I, I didn't have anything to install these when I did. So um, really took me quite a bit of time to get these in place. Whereas these, I was able to pop them right in because I had this, this wonderful piece here. So I'm just gonna take you over to the Jeep real quick and just show you something. Okay, we're looking at the front axle and again you can see that new seal has been installed and um, i have the drive shaft on but everything's spinning perfectly great here no no issues at all um, no rubbing or anything like that so this is the front axle and let me take you back here to the rear axle um what was happening to me with that seal with the red uh, on it that the seal that i got sort of aftermarket seal this was getting bound up this piece here i couldn't move this freely and I couldn't, this, this piece here had some real drag on it um, when I was moving it, right? So this has all been torqued down to spec and all that stuff. So it's cotter pins in. So this is all, you know, and again, I had it at that point before, but again, these pieces weren't moving for me. Things were binding up. So there was an issue with that seal. Maybe I had it backwards. I actually think I installed, I went through a couple. I think I installed them both ways. So ultimately, um, maybe I didn't have it tapped in enough. I, I don't really know. Maybe there's a trick to it that I don't know. But anyway, just, just sort of a, uh, just to warn folks uh, out there that if you have an opportunity to buy, uh, you know, really any seal, I would go with that, the seal here that looks more like the seal that came out. And I think I actually have the old one down here in my, 
my junk pile. Um, yeah, here it is. This one here, this is the, um, this is, I believe, the factory seal, or either that or a really old, you know, seal that was replaced a long time ago. And, and this looks just like, uh, walk over here, this looks just like that, that new one that I got that worked versus this thing here, which is supposed to work. I mean, this is what they say online, that it's new and improved and all that stuff, but I don't know, it didn't work for me. So anyway, just uh, hopefully this helps folks. And uh, if, if you know what I did wrong, or I'd be happy to know what that is. So let me know below. Anyway, thanks for watching.